Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing tips for the racing league at Newcastle on Thursday evening. Well, I do believe, I haven't looked too far into it, I do believe they're heading towards, or this is the conclusion of the racing league. And um, currently, Wales in the West are trying to peg back the current leader. Well, I've gone through Wales in the West, and I do think they've got some very, very well handicapped horses that could run well, um, or very well, tonight. So I'm going to get straight into it. So basically, I spent another tenner. Unfortunately, it looks as though, at best, we can get a bit less than half a state bank on the other bet, which will be £4.68, I think. So let me get into it. So it's a 20 pence each way, lucky 15. 30 pence each way doubles. And... 20 pence each way accumulator comes to a tenner. So the first selection is Isle of Sark at 10 to 1 in the 545 at Newcastle, paying five places instead of three. An extremely well handicapped horse based on its um, its runnings for Joseph O'Brien. It was rated high up in the 90s. Well, it's a lot lower than that now. I think it's, I think it's rated in the low 80s or even 80. Um, it's been... It's been, um, it used to lead in Ireland, and it's also in this country, I think it's about five or six runs, and um, it's, it's been held up, it's been it's been leading, but I do I do believe it, it possibly could be targeted for this race, because it has some pretty decent form at Dundalk, bear in mind it was polytracked and, and not tapita, um, but it has shown an interest in this kind of um, surface, well the all weather surface. It is very American bred by Kitten's Joy and all the rest of the breeding is American. Um, as I said, Wales in the West are playing catch up and Jamie Osborne with um, Safi Osborne on board. Um, it was some decent prize money as well. I've got a cracking chance to pull some points back this evening. The second selection is Billy Mill. At 11 to 2, not a great prize, but in the 6.45 at Newcastle. Paying five places instead of three. This won on the 15th of September last year in a grade three race off a higher mark. I think it was off something 80 something. It was keen throughout and still won relatively comfortably. Well, that was a better race that time. This time, it's a, I believe it's a class four. Um, it's lower in the handicap and I think it's got every chance. And we definitely know with it being... Wales in the West, that it needs to get some points. It needs to be a minimum in what in the places. Ideally, needs to win. The third selection is Snash at six to one in the seven fifteen at Newcastle, paying five places instead of three. A, a horse that potentially absolutely loves the all weather. It's dropped down massively in the ratings. It's the Easter Biz, and there's some decent prize money at stake, so you can expect them to be not too far away. And finally, Cap France. At 18 to 1 in the 745 at Newcastle, paying five places instead of three. Another, sorry, another, another well handicapped horse. Um, this time it actually has Safi Osborne's boyfriend on board, David Egan. Uh, what, a, what a night it would be for the Osbournes and, and the Egans um, if they could like claw back the deficit. I don't know how many points they actually need, but obviously if you can get three winners or these three horses that, we, that I've chose tonight. They're definitely going to be not too far away. Um, as I said, it's very well handicapped. Um, I'm not a fan of David Egan, but um, he is highly rated. So uh, those are the four selections for Thursday evening. Sorry for the late notice. There will be a video in probably two or three hours once I've looked at how the rain's going to affect Thursk tomorrow. Because Thursk will be my main meeting, I believe. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.